The step was cold. A pen was clasped in her hand. Some paper was resting on the cool stone next to her hip. She sat looking at the silence of the landscape. Nothing moved as a warm breath of air rested gently on her face. Locked down. Locked in. She rested her chin on her hands, bringing both knees into her chest as she glanced down at her heavy woollen socks. Her feet were warm now. Loneliness, a theme pervading so many Twitter, Facebook, journalistic bloggings that she could no longer recognise herself in it. Yet lonely she was. Living alone through these exceptional times sang an echo of travels to places where she spoke a different language, wandering through a city at 3am where buildings were blinded by shutters, getting lost on a forest walk. She felt disorientated somehow. Lifting her chin off her knees, she looked around. The weary thought of the Zoom art class she had planned for that afternoon, intruding on the freshness of the moment as she shivered with the remnants of the winter that lay just over her left shoulder. The trees leant forward, catching the light as it bounced. Just a soft, straight, clear ray of sunshine hit a leaf, whistling through the winter months to unfurl something with promise. A squirrel's tail whispered behind deep brown bark, green buds peering bravely from their roots as she raised her face towards the light. A slight grin uncurled at the edges of her mouth. It was spring. Sensing the hard pen in her left hand, she automatically used her right hand to pull off the lid. Snap. A burst of energy. Opportunity. Release. Fun. Escape. Here was another world and one that offered her a chance to reconnect with something inside. Untouchable. Still. Safe. She was smiling now. Next door's cat observed her from across the gravel path to her right, stopping next to a chipped pot of dead geraniums. It paused and stared, then passed by. She picked up the paper. What to write? Did it matter? No. Her pen danced. The sun was vital. Zing. Things started to move again.